What's up, everybody? Welcome to my channel. I'm Arthur Pimentel, and this is my unique perspective on everything. So today I'm going to show you guys what I eat in a full day of peritoneal dialysis. So I've been doing peritoneal dialysis for about five weeks now, and I can honestly say it's been working phenomenal for me. I recently did some labs and everything was mostly back in range. From one month to another, I was anemic. My hemoglobin was 8.2. Now it's 11.5. My albumin, which is the measure of protein in the blood, should be above 4.0. Mine was 4.1. My potassium was in range at 4.3. My phosphorus was in range at 4.7. And my creatinine, it is a bit on the higher side. It used to be 11.0, now it's 9.5. So I was very proud of myself for these results. And even my nephrologist and dietitian didn't have to give me no feedback. They just told me, Arthur, whatever you're doing for diet, keep it up because it's working for you. So I feel like it's only right that I share what I eat in a full day of peritoneal dialysis to help someone who is new to PD or currently on PD but is eating the exact same meals every single day. Trust me, I know the struggles. Plus, I tried to find videos about what I eat in a day on peritoneal dialysis on YouTube, but I couldn't find any. The only YouTuber that makes these type of videos but on hemodialysis is Kenny Jerk, so shout out to her. So hopefully by me posting these what I eat in a day videos, it'll help inspire other YouTubers who are on PD to share what they eat in a full day so we can all learn from each other. Remember, we're all kidney warriors. We all have the same objective, retain as much kidney function as possible until we get our kidney transplant. So I hope you guys learned something today and hopefully you guys will incorporate my recipes so you can get better lab results as they have worked for me. I welcome you guys to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you get notified every time I post a new video. I hope you guys stick with me on my YouTube journey. Now let's get right into my macronutrient guidelines. So the macronutrients that I track every single day is protein, potassium, sodium, and phosphorus. Now protein, I never got a clear answer how many grams I can have a day, but I usually get 70 to 90 grams a day. And it works for me because my albumin is really good. Potassium, now before dialysis, stage four and stage five, I was only allowed 2,000 milligrams of potassium a day, which is very little and it's a struggle every day. You have to limit or avoid avocados, potatoes, um, bananas, oranges. And that's the main reason why I chose peritoneal dialysis because you can have more potassium. So right off the back, I was allowed 2,500 milligrams, which is a good jump. And my blood work was really good, so I asked him if I can go up to 2,750 milligrams, and he gave me the okay. So I'm very happy with that because now I can have more fruits and vegetables in my diet. Now sodium, my dietitian told me I can have 2,000 milligrams of sodium, but even before dialysis, I would always stick to 1,500 milligrams, and that works for me. And you don't want to get too much sodium because you start retaining fluids and you start swelling up, and that's not good. And phosphorus... I've only allowed a thousand milligrams of phosphorus a day and phos phosphorus is a very important mineral because my PD nurse told me the story where she had a patient where she would just eat a lot of fast food. She, would, she was overweight, she did not take her phosphorus binders and she let this build up for like more than six months to the point where one day her phosphorus levels were so high that one day she left the, the dialysis center and she just walked off the curb and the bone went through her skin and she broke her leg and they had to call the ambulance to pick her up. It was a sad story and I'm like, that story stuck with me and it's just like, you really wanna take care of your phosphorus numbers and not go over too much. So the way I track my macronutrients is through an app called Chronometer. And I love Chronometer because it's very easy to use and if you have stage three, four, five, or any type of dialysis, it help you be more precise so you won't go over your macronutrients. So I have a food scale. I weigh everything out in grams or ounces. So for instance, I'll weigh some strawberries out, 80 grams of strawberries. I put it in the chronometer app and it tells me all the B vitamins, B1 through 12, cal um, vitamin A through E, my calcium, iron, magnesium, phosphorus, potassium, sodium, zinc, uh, fiber, carbs, fat, cholesterol, protein, saturated fat. It tells me literally everything. 
I recommend you guys to use chronometers to track and be precise. And it only takes you like 10 minutes to weigh everything out before each meal. So enough of me talking already, let's just get right into what I eat in a day. So I always connect around 11.30 p.m. at night. And I usually only use two yellow 1.5 bags because I never really swell up or retain fluids. And that's what works for me. So my treatment is complete at 7.30 a.m. But I keep sleeping and I wake up till 10 a.m. in the morning. So I go to the restroom and I weigh in. I check my blood pressure. Then I clean my area and I get all my supplies ready. And then I'm ready to disconnect. So I'm visually impaired and I have a great support system. So I usually have my twin sisters and my dad help me disconnect because I don't want to contaminate the catheter and I just want to be safe. So I just have them help me out and that's what works for us. So I'm going to disconnect. I'm going to do my hydro routine and I'll see you guys in the kitchen. I like to start my day with 32 ounces of water. And the reason why I like 32 ounces of water is because it's already measured out for you. It's 32 ounces is four cups of water. And every morning I start my day off with half a teaspoon of vitamin C. And this is a company called uh, Synergy. And the way I do it is I just open my medicine jar and I just literally add a half a teaspoon of vitamin C. And the reason why I like doing this is because in 2019, I didn't get sick one day, even before the quarantine and this pandemic was going on, I would always use this vitamin C and it's already 2020 and I still haven't got sick. So if I go two years without getting sick, I know this is the reason why. So if you guys wanna purchase this vitamin C, I'm gonna link it down below in the description box so you guys can purchase it too. So usually I like to wait an hour before I eat, but I'm already hungry, so I'm gonna go straight to breakfast. So today is my reboot day and my reboot day I try to get as much fruits and vegetables as possible in a day because on the weekends I tend to eat more animal protein and heavier meals. So this morning I'm gonna start off with my oatmeal. And my oatmeal, I have it three to four times a week and I love my oatmeal because it's very easy to make. I'm in and out the kitchen within 20 minutes. So right here on my talking food scale and I wait. Hello. You know, I'm visually impaired so it's pretty cool because it talks to me. It's ready. ready. <laughs> All right, so I already weighed everything out. So I got my Bob's Red Mill Extra Thick Rolled Oats, 75 grams worth. And this meal is higher in phosphorus, but I never go over my thousand milligrams because this meal is like 400 milligrams of phosphorus, but my, but my last meal is like only 100. So and as long as you don't go over, you got to experiment and what works for you. So I got my strawberries, blueberries, and raspberries all weighed out, washed. And I do 70 grams of each. And I try to get as much fruit in a day because I can have 2,750 milligrams, so I take advantage of it. And I here also have my Simply Organic Cinnamon. I try to get the best of the best quality, all organic, um, non-GMO, you know, the whole health conscious stuff. I got my natural peanut butter from Sprouts, no salt added. And the reason why I like it is because it's only one ingredient, peanuts. And I got this mock, oh, let me grab it, mock uh, pecan maple syrup milk. And the reason why I love this milk is because it's only 75 milligrams of sodium. And the ingredients are very clean. I'm going to show a picture of it. And they're very clean ingredients, stuff you can read, and you don't have to feel guilty about trying this milk. It's better than all those other almond milks that have like 150 milligrams sodium plus. So, yeah, these are all the ingredients that I use for my oatmeal. So I'm gonna start cooking it and I'm gonna show you guys the end result. So with this milk, mock milk, you have to cook it on low because when you cook it on medium, it comes out to like a thick consistency. So I like to do it on low and it comes out really good that way.
So these are my macronutrients for my oatmeal. So the calories is 633. So let me scroll down to potassium, phosphorus, and sodium. And look at that, the sodium is very low. So I'm gonna scroll down more to protein. So these are my macros. So this is my second mason jar of water and I currently have no fluid restrictions. Lunch time, I'm ready to grub and I need veggies in my life. So today I'm gonna make my salad and my salad has evolved over time. Before dialysis, I would always make my veggie salad because I feel like it would help me stay healthy with my kidney disease. But now that I'm on peritoneal dialysis, I just add animal protein and veggies. So these are all my ingredients for my salad. So I already have in the salad spinner, red leaf and green leaf lettuce. I use 55 grams of each. And I use red and green leaf lettuce because they're lower in potassium. So I have my smart chicken here, 3.1 ounces. And I try to eat animal protein once a day. And a quick tip for you guys that are on stage four and stage five, try to avoid animal protein because it makes your kidneys work harder. And I, I had to learn the hard way when my kidney function dropped from like 27 to 23%. And then I went vegan for a whole year and it was stayed at 23, but as soon as I ate animal protein again, it went from 23 to 18. So just be careful with the animal protein. All right, so I got my veggies here. I got 100 grams of red bell pepper. I got 50 grams of cherry tomatoes. I got 16 grams of green onions. I got my vinaigrette dressing and marinade from a company called Bragg. And the reason why I like this vinaigrette dressing and marinade, because it's only 29 grams of sodium for two tablespoons. You don't have to add croutons, but I like to add croutons because they give it a nice crunch in my salad. So I do two servings, which is 14 grams, and it's uh, it adds like 300 milligrams of sodium. So if you want to, you can avoid it just to avoid the sodium. And then I just use a little bit of black pepper and a little bit of cayenne to sprinkle it on top. So I'm gonna make my salad. I'll show you guys the final result and I'll show you guys the macronutrients of my recipe. So these are my macronutrients for my chicken salad. The total calories for this recipe is 449. So I'm gonna scroll down to potassium, phosphorus, and sodium. Okay, and then I'm gonna scroll down so you can see my protein macros. And these are my macros for my chicken salad. So it's dinner time. I just got done walking for two miles. Now it's time to make my kidney-friendly veggie stir-fry. So I'm very proud of this veggie stir-fry because I created this recipe on my own and I honestly feel like it has helped me avoid dialysis for a long time. So I've been noticing every time I eat this recipe for dinner, every time I check my blood pressure before dialysis, it's always in the 120s, it never fails. So this is why I ate this recipe one day before lab work and one day before I see my nephrologist so I can get better lab results and better blood pressure readings. So the ingredients that I use for my veggie stir fry is 90 grams of organic white rice. I got my garlic cut up already, three grams. So the veggies, I already got them cut up in my food chopper, it makes life way easier. I got 80 grams of red bell pepper, 80 grams of cauliflower, 10 grams of serrano pepper, um, 16 grams of green onions, the white part only. I got 40 grams of green cabbage. I got 50 grams of celery, and I got 50 grams of carrots. So in a kidney-friendly diet, you don't really wanna add table salt, so you gotta get creative with spices. So right here in this bowl, I have 1 4 teaspoon of oregano, 1 4 teaspoon of black pepper, 1 4 teaspoon of onion powder, 1 4 teaspoon of garlic powder, and 1 8 teaspoon of chipotle powder. And it just makes the veggie stir fry taste really good. So I like to cook it for eight minutes, and the last four minutes, I throw in all my spices. I'm gonna throw my spices here. So my veggies are done cooking. Now I'm gonna add my coconut aminos. 
Now this is a healthy alternative to soy sauce and there's only like 90 milligrams of sodium for one teaspoon. So I do a tablespoon of this and it makes it taste really good. So these are my macronutrients for my veggie stir fry. The calorie amount is 426. So I'm gonna scroll down to potassium, phosphorus, and sodium. So you can see the macros. Okay, now let me scroll down to protein. So these are my macros for my veggie stir fry. These are all the macros for my full day of my reboot day. So the calorie amount is 1508 calories. So I'm gonna scroll down so you can see all my macronutrients. And the reason why I only got 1508 calories today is because I don't like to overdo it with the calories and I like to give my kidneys a break every once in a while. So these are all my macros and I didn't go over my macronutrient guidelines. Thank you guys for watching my what I eat in a day video on peritoneal dialysis. I promise I'll make more of these what I eat in a day videos and I want to leave you guys with a simple thought. Your health is in your own hands. Your nephrologist, your dietitian, your PD nurse, your social worker can only do so much for you. At the end of the day, when you go home, you can choose to eat healthy or unhealthy. It will reflect in your labs. So do the right thing and put the best quality foods in your body so you can retain as much kidney function as possible. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you get notified every time I post a new video. Give me a thumbs up if you like my content and leave me a comment down below if you have any questions. Peace.